Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from our Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, obviously we have a, another box in today, and this one is talking about making your own vacuum chamber. Uh, now they do have a little warning here, and they talk about uh, choking hazards for children under, I believe they say eight, um, eight years can uh, suffocate on inflated or broken balloons so uh, adult supervision is suggested all right everybody so here we go we've got uh, all the parts out here and of course our paperwork we'll do the uh, first thing first which is always the tinker zine and of course the tinker zine always gives us a little bit of information on what's going on uh, now they're talking about air pressure and things like that in this one since we're making a vacuum chamber and uh, of course there are some uh, different things this talks about uh, taking a breath here and uh, there we go there's an example of the vacuum chamber once it's finished and then they have a few other things there definitely a good uh, learning tool right there you can learn a lot of different things and understand the differences and uh, what makes a vacuum and uh, why a vacuum is what it is maybe and and things like that uh, we have of course a handful of parts we'll start with this one we've got uh, the first bag it looks like it has well it's got a bell in there it's got a couple little uh, like little uh, syringe dropper things there's a couple balloons uh, a couple like rubber band things and uh, and uh, whatnot so the next one it has a, uh, a large uh, silicon ring uh, almost like a large rubber band we've got some uh, some blue plastic pieces which look like they're uh, pieces to connect uh, the hoses with uh, and then we've got some smaller pieces uh, some black ones we've got a tee couple of tees in there we've got a little squeeze clip some some of the uh, sticky foams as well as a cork a rubber cork we have a little uh, cylinder type thing there a little measuring cup we've got a very large syringe which I'm gonna guess is gonna kind of control our pressure uh, looks like this is gonna be our base right here and then we've got our little uh, bell for like the bell jar uh, and we have a piece of clear tubing so uh, last thing we have is the instructions here and as you can see there's a drawing of it right there and as we open it up it of course shows uh, a lot of the different things that are in it um, we have some uh, looks like some different ideas on it uh, they're showing the bell and stuff in there uh, then it shows kind of maybe it working a little bit as well as uh, some some various other things something about soda down there at the bottom and then of course the instructions on how to put it together uh, I believe this should be fairly fairly easy um, and uh, it does say uh, first thing I noticed there it does say that you are going to need a pair of scissors so of course uh, with uh, with children there I'm guessing uh, you're going to be cutting the hoses so not a, not only um, would you want to keep an eye because of the balloons but you may want to watch uh, the scissors and trying to cut through the hose um, this doesn't feel like lightweight hose so uh, parents I do suggest that maybe you try to be the ones to do the cutting with that because uh, you don't want the kids slipping on that because that could be a very uh, uh, a dangerous situation and we want everybody to be safe when they're learning we don't want them to uh, to get hurt but uh, I'll go ahead and get started you guys will get to see this uh, speed along and uh, from there we will uh, see what this looks like when it's all done now just to make a mention of this uh, I did want to note you have these pieces that are connecting to the uh, the T and then the flow through pieces here and uh, the tube is really hard to get on these uh, I'm even having a hard time pressing it on myself and uh, so kids may have a little bit of a difficult time getting them on there there's a couple things you could uh, try with these uh, first off you could take and um, you could try and dip uh, maybe have like a little cup of like soapy water and dip the ends of the tubes in there 
and uh, try and slide them on that way and then the soapy water could help it slide a little bit uh, on any of the on any of them or you could try and uh, do something like um, for a few seconds take and put the tubes in the uh, microwave or use uh, a, uh, a cup of warm water and uh, try and soften the tubes up a little bit because this is fairly stiff tube um, it's not soft uh, you know rubber tube this is plastic and so it is kind of difficult to get on here so uh, kids may have a little bit of a hard time but if you try some of those ideas uh, I would definitely try the uh, soapy water first and see if you can do it that way All right, uh, looks like we've got it. I uh, just pumped out the air and you can see it's holding, it's holding uh, the bell jar on top there. So, uh, and then all we do to let air back in, just take off the little clip here. There you go, you could hear all the air rushing back in. So uh, let's go ahead and try something. Let's, uh, there we go. Let's try something with one of these balloons here. I bet you we'll get it so that the balloon fills up the entire thing. There, and then the balloon is creating a seal. Well, there's the idea. As you can see, the balloon filled up the entire thing for the most part, at least until it blocked off the little hole down there. And uh, of course, the Tinkerzine will explain kind of why this happened, but the basic idea is that had air in it, and that air is trying to expand to fill up where the other air has been taken out of. So you decrease the pressure here, which then increases the pressure on the inside of the balloon. But uh, all right, well, there we go. That'll do it for me today, guys. If you guys, of course, want to check this out, or any of the other boxes that uh, are available either through Tinker Crate or uh, their parent company, Kiwi Crate. You can go down there in the description below. We'll have links for that down there as well as we have our links for our social media. Uh, don't forget to check that stuff out and on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, don't forget to hit one of those subscribe buttons in the corner down there below the video, that red b button down there. And uh, also there is that little bell icon. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified when we get new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This is another episode from A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.